Welcome back everyone. Today I have this 5x5 piston door for you. Just close it. It looks like this. And the hair open it. You can see that it's super fast. It's a pretty synchronized animation. And this 5x5 is actually even faster than the last one I showed you. This one opens in 1.55 seconds, so it's 0.2 seconds faster. And that makes it the fastest 540 block 5x5 there is. And it's also really small and only 540 blocks. Alright, so I'd say we go to the tutorial. Hey, what are you doing here, man? This is my door. Hello, welcome back, guys. Today we're doing the tutorial on the 1.55 seconds, 540 blocks, 5x5. Five five. And uh, just open and close it real quick. Uh, this thing closes 1.4 seconds, opens 1.55 seconds. Uh, there's zero game takes of reset time after the closing, and there's a negative one game take of reset time on the opening. So you can power both edges with a wooden button, which is actually kind of crazy. Uh, the store is neither locational or directional, and it works in versions 1.16 and above because of the target here and some other 1.16 things that we used. It's 540 blocks. Uh, what else do I have to say about this thing? It's probably the best 540 block sub by 5 as of right now. And yeah, the tutorial's late, of course, but I mean, what can I say? I'm lazy. Let's just get started with the tutorial. So I've added some new markings to the side here, and that denotes floor level and um, what block your door frame is going to be on. So I'm just build up right here. We're going to have a double extender on the bottom. Our door frame is going to be right here. I'm going too fast, just pause the video. And fill up your storage as well as you go. And then for the middle one, we'll do this. I'm not going to be doing a lot of explaining in this uh, video right here because I'm going to upload a whole separate explanation video of this door. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully going to upload it the day after this one comes out. So let's go. We're going to have a flush quad extender on the top. our middle observer right here like that that's gonna be the layout and now we can move on to the wiring for the top all right the first thing we're gonna be doing is setting up our sliders and zero tick generators for the top because this is almost a maxed out flush quad with zero ticks it's just uh, one game tick too slow because of uh, things I'll say in the explanation video, but it's worth mentioning that at least. I'm going to go down six blocks from the first, seven blocks from the first redstone block. Other less. And then the redstone block can be between these two things right here. I'm going to have a piston right here. And that's going to be updated oops, by this zero tick slider right here. Test it, you can see zero ticks successfully. And redstone out to here. Have a weird input right here. This one actually needs to be a slab. We're going to have a target right here because the redstone redirection here is not always consistent. And then piston here for block event delay. Have another slider right here. It's a block, a solid block here this time for reasons. We're going to actually be powering that. And another two updater pistons right here. See that one works fine. You can also see it spit out the blocks there, which means that our zero tick generators are working right now. So um, let's just fill in this part of the top. The input block is going to be right here. Place a dust beneath it, around here. Place a node block. It's cheaper, cheaper alternative than a hopper, so do that. Red an observer facing into that solid wall block. This one needs to be solid because it needs to power that piston right there. So now I have a piston right here. Run that up. Look, I have a repeater, and I have this dust right here on a slab, and then sticky vision and block right here to block off that signal. Um, we need to go down to the bottom here, place two movable objects. This one has to be not solid, so place something like a chest here. This one needs to be solid, so place an obsidian. 
All right, now with that out of the way, we can push these without having to worry about them. So now we can place our activator rail right here. If we run this across, right here, and that powers this piston, so it gets powered out at the end. That's actually just done by pure chance. There's no logic to that at all. Now we're going to need a... Uh, I still forget where the compound boosters are. It's just a block I don't use. And might as well break that observer. You have to fill this thing up to level 5 or more. You can just fill it all the way up to the top, but I don't like the look of that, so I just fill it up to level 5. There you go. I have a comparator right here and a block right there. Now to... Uh, finish that pulse, we're going to need a piston right here to avoid the input bug. Just spam like five observers there. Block. Activate a rail. Doesn't really matter that this rail's here. Block. Alright, that is going to be a lot of it done. That's going to power that observer slider right there. I have this right here up on a slab to power that. This down here. I'm going to have a normal piston facing downwards to get a double pulse. I have this go through a T flip flop right there into a normal piston. This is going to be using the new, or not the new, it's been around for a while. This is going to be using the log thing right here. I have leaves right here. Go down and across, up and across, right there. I have a leaf right here. Observer facing down, observer facing across. I have an observer facing like this. Actually, place a hopper there first. Hopper right there. Observer, observer, slab, dust. Like that. That's going to be taking care of that middle observer pusher. pusher. Now, along with this thing. Just place that right now. We're going to get our um, pulse to the top input by doing this. This is going to be running across into rails right here. Observers facing into the top row of pistons like this. Uh, oh, this is going to be stupid to place. Uh, I forgot this updater piston that goes right here. My bad. Right there. And to finish this off, I'm going to need a leaf right here. And four observers facing into that. That's going to be it for the top circuit. Uh, you can go ahead and test this right now, though the result won't be very glamorous. See something like that will happen. And you can just run it. You'll have that. Um, of course, those derps and things will clearly be fixed because we have to do the side pistons and also block off the slider right here from the bottom. So we can do the bottom circuit right now. We're going to start that off with this right here. I'm going to use pink terracotta here to run this across through dust to a hopper right here. To run this down onto a note block. Up into this input right here. Another hopper. Dust on all these. We're going to chain this input right here. Now you might as well just build it right now. Dust here. Dust there. Move that rail, move that observer rail going into that right there. Now we're going to have an observer facing this direction. It's going to have a rail on it. Observer facing up, across, to block, a no block. That's going to be right in the middle uh, here. Across, block, to a note block right here. Same thing on that side. And now we're going to be doing the uh, sliders. It's going to have that right there, two normal pistons right there. Don't forget to place another normal piston right there. I have a note block right here. Another note block there. A lot of note block spam, but that's just the way it is. I'll run that into that. I need to have a... Oops, don't have that there. Piston right here. Going up into a dust, that's going to be powering that side piston. And we're just going to have the third pulse going into this line from that. We're going to have our double piston extender on the bottom, like this. Retake repeater. 
I have the piston right there, facing upwards. Observer right there. Now we're going to do the sides on this side. This is going to be lime. And we're going to have observer here. Piston, observer, block. Oops, block, dust. That's going to do that side. And that's going to be this side all done, actually. Uh, you're going to need to have this right here be solid. So we're going to use this wall block right here to push that one down. One take repeater right here. Powering that. Go up two observers. Do side pistons right here. Doesn't really matter that we bud that. Do go down right here. Place a sticky piston redstone block right there. Observer facing down. Rail. Two more observers. Be careful not to block yourself off. And then an observer running from this thing that we've placed previously into this block right here. You kind of see right there. And then the last thing to do is just reset the slider, which we can do by placing some more observers right here. And now you can fill up your door frame because that's the entire door. Give this a test. And that's it. All right, so now that you're done with your door, uh, you might be wondering how to activate this thing. Of course, what you could do, obviously, is run a repeater into this. But of course, that's not very glamorous because that has, of course, one ticket into it. Of course, it's not preferable. Uh, you would probably avoid this if you could. So we can do that actually pretty easily. Just take out this observer. Of course, it goes outside the volume, but can't really do anything about that. I'll just remove all those things. Another target down here. Have, have a piston right there. Turn this up to a rail here. And then replace your observer like before. Oops, like before. So now you can basically just take a button like on the wall right here, or a lever. We'll, we'll just actually have a lever right now. Let's see. We have a dust input like this. And if you want to, you can actually have this be a note button. Not a stone button, it has to be a wooden button. And you can even put right on the wall here, which is actually kind of whack. Good luck getting through it though, because it's, it's a little bit tight. You go through it as soon as possible, it never close behind you. And of course you can just uh, link that up. I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial you kind of know how redstone works. Um, but yeah, basically um, just make sure you have enough signal strength. You have to like have at least like, I think like five, six here, like six signal strength here. So make sure you don't go too far. And if you go too far, you can always build the instant repeater because that's gonna work. No, I just do this if it goes too far. And you can just kind of power it from here. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Also, hopefully you're able to follow. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.